The Word of God is the foundation for successful living. Get the Word of God in you and be transformed by the power-packed teaching from the senior pastor, Faith Tabernacle, or Ta, Dr. David Oyedepo. And the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus lifted up his hand, voice and cry, If any man thirst, let him come to me. This is that kind of day. Whatever you are thirsty for will be supplied here now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory. There is one thing you are desperately determined to connect with from God. And the Bible says, the young lions suffer want and hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. There is one good thing that you still lack. And you are desperately determined to have him touch you concerning that thing. One thing. And I speak to you as God's prophet. There is that one thing that makes people wonder whether God is on your side. But this hour, this very moment, that one thing is turned to a testimony. Everything else proves that you belong to God, but not just one thing. One thing. And that one thing, this early hour of the day, weeping may tarry for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. God has turned it to a testimony of joy for you. In the name of Jesus. After the king sent for Joseph, he slept the previous night as a prisoner. That one invitation marked the end of his frustration. Your coming here today marks the eternal end of any kind of frustration around your life. One invitation launched him into a realm of endless celebration. Have you responded to an invitation of this night? Enter to your realm of endless celebration. You believe that? Shout a living amen. So shall it be. I'd like you to mention that one thing to God. And celebrating His omnipotency over it. I thank you, Jesus, for this is no issue with you. And it's turned to me in this hour for a testimony according to the word of the prophet. Go ahead and speak to him. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is so. The liberation power of blessings, part three. I'll take my text from Genesis chapter 49 and verse 26. I'll start to read from 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a word whose branches run over the wall. Now, these are the prophetic blessings of Jacob on his children. This is not Jacob speaking. This is God speaking through Jacob. Amen. You discover that all the twelve tribes, he placed on them their prophetic place in God. Look at what he was saying about Joseph. Joseph is a fruitful bough, a fruitful bough by a well whose branches run over the wall. The archers have surely greeted him and shot at him and hated him. But his bough abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From whence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel? Even by the God of thy father, we shall help thee. And by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that are, that lie under, blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of thy father, verse 26, have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the uttermost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. Now, Joseph was a man with a blessing of God upon his life. And by that blessing, he prevailed. He prevailed by that blessing. Verse 26 says, the blessings of thy father. It's not talking about Jacob. It's talking about God. If you look at it, even by the God of thy fathers, verse 25, and he said, the blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the utmost band of the everlasting his. They had been on the head of Joseph and on the crown of him that is separate from his brethren. That was a blessing that made the difference. There was a blessing on his head. And you are living here this morning with that order of blessing of the Lord on your head. That blessing did not allow them to kill him. The blessing was on his head. When they said, let us kill him. Somebody say, hey, no, 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 don't kill him. Let's sell him for a slave. It was not the blessing of his father because he already mourned his death. No, he said the blessings of thy father God has prevailed above the blessings of my own fathers. Have prevailed above the blessings of my own father. So with that blessing, they could not kill him. I declare you unkillable. <laughs> By the blessing upon your head today, no one, no devil shall be able to kill you. <laughs> now, with that blessing, he got into Potiphar's house as a slave, and he became the heir of all that he had. By that blessing, you commit all your treasures to a slave. A slave who could run away. A slave. Favor was trailing him because of that blessing. Hallelujah. He knew he carried something. So when Potiphar's wife wanted to corner him, he said, No, I can't afford to sin against God and meet his blessing on my head. 
Genesis 39 verse 9. He was conscious of the hand of God on him. In Genesis 42 verse 18, he said, but I fear God. Hallelujah. So upon his head was the blessing of God. That blessing followed him to the prison. Wherever that blessing is, it answers. He got to the prison, he became an official. As a prisoner, a criminal, he became an official. He was the one determining what food the prisoners would eat. And he came out of that place to become a prime minister in a strange land. God will dash you with strange blessings. That was the strange hand of God upon Joseph. And that same order of strange hand is coming on your head this morning. Wherever that blessing is, it shows. Some fellows thought that when our church moved into Canaan land, it will finish. And then it just began. And has not stopped, just beginning. Fresh blessings, day and night. Because wherever the blessing of the Lord is, it speaks. I decree today that the blessing of the Lord will begin to make the difference in your life. The blessing of God was upon the head of Joseph. He said they shall be on the head of Joseph. Put your hand on your head. Lord, let your blessing come on my head today. Lord, let your blessing come on my head today. Let your blessing come on my head today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It was on his head. And it became a crown on his head. The blessing of God on your head today becomes a crown on your head. In the name of Jesus. The unfathomable value of blessings. <laughs> a slave became prosperous. And Joseph was a prosperous man in the house of his master. Potiphar, a prosperous slave, strange, 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 that same strange order of favor becomes your portion this morning. And Joseph came into the prison and became a prosperous prisoner. And whatever was done in that prison, Joseph was the doer of it. And the prisoners committed, the prison keeper committed all the prisoners to the hand of Joseph. Huh. The blessing has become a crown on his head. As a slave, he was reigning in the house of Potiphar. As a prisoner, he was reigning in the prison. As a stranger, he was reigning in a strange land. I decree that the Joseph order of blessings begin to manifest in your life from now. Now listen to this. What is the master key to this blessing? Say with me, master key. The master key to the blessings of God is obedience. What is it? Tell your neighbor, don't sleep home. Wake up, wake up. This, without the key, you can't enter any house. This storehouse requires that you hold the key. The key to the storehouse of heaven's blessings is obedience. Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred if you want to enter to my blessings. And so Abraham departed. Genesis 12, 4. And so Abraham departed. And the word came to Joseph. 
I'm to, to Isaac, don't get down to Egypt. Dwell in this land. And so he stayed here. And he blessed them. And then he said to Abraham, get your own son, your only son Isaac, and, sac- and sacrifice him to me as a sacrifice. And he woke up early in the morning. And God said, by myself have I sworn, in blessing I will bless you. Because you have obeyed my voice. Genesis 22, 17 and 18. Because you have obeyed my voice. Your obedience is the gateway to my blessings. Your obedience is the gateway to my blessings. Your obedience is the gateway to God's blessings. Your obedience is the gateway to God's blessings. You can be blessed walking anyhow. Here is what the word says. If thou shalt diligently hearken, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 to 14, to the voice of the Lord your God, and observe to do all that he commands thee this day, that the Lord thy God shall set you up on high above all nations of the earth, and thou shalt be blessed in the city. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city. And blessed shall thou be in the field. And he went on. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle. The increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall thou be the, bas- the basket, thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou goest out and when thou comest in. Blessed, 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 blessed. If you will diligently hearken to my voice and observe to do all that I command thee. Ah, you shall learn always and you shall not borrow. You shall be above all and you shall not be beneath. <laughs> The Lord shall smite thy enemies that will rise up against you. They shall come against you one way and they shall flee seven ways. <laughs> blessed, blessed, blessed. It answers to obedience. The blessings of the Lord answers to man's obedience. As long as Adam remained obedient, the blessing of the Lord was on his head. When he entered into disobedience, he lost it. Obedience is the master key to his blessings. Obedience, obedience, obedience. Grace for obedience to every commandment of the Lord has revealed to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Obedience. If this thou shalt be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. You shall eat the good of the land. If you will be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Obedience of faith is the master key to a world of endless blessings. Obedience of faith. Obedience of faith is the master key to a world of endless blessings. Receive that grace today. (laughs) Obedience has been the trade secret of this ministry. Obedience, obedience, obedience. One early morning, God said to me, Arise, get down to Lagos, raise me your people. It didn't make sense. But it made faith. It didn't make sense. We were having a great time in Kaduna. God was blessing us. He said, I have greater blessings for you than this. Come out here. 
And that same day, we took the step. And within a week, our properties acquired, found mysteriously packaged in the same place. See what has come out of one positive step. Obedience. Obedience of faith. May 4, 1994, the harvest of Africa is now overripe. Rush in and preserve it from decadence. There are close to 70 locations on the African continent where people are hooked onto this service right now. Obedience. 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 Your opinion is irrelevant after God has spoken. No divine verdict answers to human consens consensus. Man's consensus is his cup of tea. He does not hold any water in the sight of God. And then we came into this bush. I was very upset coming. It was too far. And then we got here towards that gate. And we stopped into the bush, tapped on the bush. And I said, let's just give thanks to God for the effort of all those who have been struggling to locate land. But this is not where we are coming anyway. So, Father, thank you. And then he said, this is the place. What? This is the place. Four words. If you like, take it. If you don't like, leave it. This is the place. Is it not the place today? The entire world is being serviced from this center by obedience. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive grace for the lifesome obedience. From the year God showed me, the gateway to his prosperity, from the day that I saw it, I've never had any struggle paying tithe. It's been my delight. Giving has become my joy. And today, prosperity has become my heritage. Obedience is the gateway to his abundance. Every of God's blessings answers to man's obedience. This is the place. So we answered him. And we came here and seen strange things. This whole building was put up in one year. Debt free. One year. No contractors. Obedience. The gateway to the strange acts of God. Strange acts of God. Strange acts of God. Strange acts of God. Therefore, whatever it tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. That will turn your water to wine. It will turn your dryness to fruitfulness. It will turn your struggles to miracles. It will turn your challenges to testimonies. Whatever he tells you to do, what do you do? Do it. John chapter 2 verse 5. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. The blessings of the Lord upon my life is what is making the difference in my life. It is not my expertise. I told our faculty people today in our meeting, I said, what I experience is unmeritable. It, it, you can't merit it. You can only be blessed by it. It is unmeritable. That's what makes it a blessing. It's unmeritable. That is when it's a blessing. I decree that you begin to enter to that dimension of unmeritable blessings. <laughs> unmeritable blessings. Enter into that dimension in the name of Jesus. 
It shall be upon the head of Joseph, upon he that is separated from his brethren, upon the crown of him that is separated from his brethren. It was on his head in Potiphar's house. It was on his head in the hole where they drop him. No animal could eat him up. It was on his head when they were selling him to sell him to the right house. It was on his head when he was in the prison to send him to the correct prison. It was on his head when they brought him out to make him prime minister. It was on his head every step of his journey. He jealously guarded it. He said, but I fear God. What I will have done with you, I can't do it because I fear God. The hand of God on my life is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm where I am. I can't hurt you. You have hurted, you have hurted me. I can't hurt you. But I, I have to who come to God to maintain the flow of his blessings. Please hear this. As the Lord liveth, from this liberation night to the next one, you shall become a wonder to your world. Can I hear your loudest amen? Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. That is what makes the difference. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that's happening for you tonight. This is one great commandment that moves the hand of God. And I'll read that and we will go into it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, doing wonders. Exodus 15 and verse 11. Doing wonders. I'd like you to shake yourself. We are going to provoke his acts of wonders in a moment. Adika Shugamo Pradas Lukorodo Shudaga Letosa. And in the midnight of the ordeal, a few hours to the time that we brought up for execution, Paul and Silas, they prayed and they sang praises and the prisoners heard them and they were mocking at them. <laughs> the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, your mercy endureth forever and ever. Oh, praise his oh. They say, mercy, your hands are burned and your feet are burned. Yeah, yeah. They started singing. The Lord answered by fire, let it be my God. The answered by fire, let it be my God. This, yeah, yeah. Let your God answered by fire, your hand is chained. Your leg, they will kill you tomorrow. You see God. You see God quick. The Lord answered by fire, you shall be my God. Answered by fire. And they began singing. <laughs> and it's fearful in praises. Then he descended to the prison. God is descending to your issue tonight. Acts chapter 16 verse 25 to 30. And that was the end of the devil. The prophetic praise of this hour marks the end of all satanic harassments on your life. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. You are dancing your way into your miracle this morning. You are dancing your way into your miracle this morning. The psalm presses aloud and the prisoners heard them. And God with fearful presses came in. And turn their story. Their chains fell off. <laughs> Hallelujah. The prison gates was blasted. 
Their shame was turned to glory. The jailer knelt down. Hey, save me, God. Those who mock you will kneel down to you after this hour. Those who have been mocking your God, they will bow to you after this session. Psalm 67 and verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise thee, O God, and let all the people praise thee. Let the nations rejoice and be glad. Let the people praise thee, O God. Then shall the earth yield thy increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Ay, 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 ay. How do you get blessed? Let the people praise thee, O God. Then God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Fearful God, doing fearful things in praise. How many want to see the fearful God in action? Let me see your hands and shout hallelujah. <laughs> then shall the earth yield the increase. What does that mean? Every seed we have sown will begin to produce his own. <laughs> this is a dangerously seed sowing church. All the seed we have sown on this ground between the last liberation night and now. As you dance his dance tonight, they shall begin to yield their increase. He said, and God, even our own God shall bless us. He said, I mean, God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear the blessing. The blessing of God on this church is feared by the world. Is feared by what? That's the same way he's blessing on your life. The world will fear it. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Are you ready to press it? Obedience is the gateway to his blessings. Do you want to be blessed? And as they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against their enemies and they were all smitten and not one of them escaped. Everything that is fighting you, they shall all be smitten now. <laughs> all demonic installations against your destiny, they shall all be crushed now. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 22. And when they began... To sing and to praise the Lord set ambushment against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Mansia, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. And he went on all down to 24, and they faced themselves and destroyed themselves until no one escaped. Not one of them, and none escaped. As the Lord liveth. Every, every demonic force that pursued you till the night you came here, none of them shall escape. Are you ready? Stand to your feet and then stretch your life. Glory to God. It's time for his high praises. This is a prophetic hour of praise. And I'd like you to dance your dances. Celebrate your greatest. Get crazy for God in a moment. Get crazy for God this time. Whatever won't let you do it, lay it aside. It is your turn and your privilege to explode into this strange dimension of His glory. Hallelujah. I'd like you to engage in this praise warfare. What do I call it? 
engage in this prophetic praise for the unleashing of his fearful blessings. He said, even now God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. He said, let the people that want to see the fearful blessing praise him. Let them praise him in the dance. And David danced with all his might. All his might. He danced with all his might. And the one mocking him was cursed with all of God's causes. Anything mocking your faith comes under a curse tonight. In the course of this dance, listen to me. Wait, oh, wait, wait. In the course of this dance, the symptoms on your body, you will find them no more. As we are pressing him, the blind will begin to receive their sight. The lame we begin to sense the life of God on their limbs. This is miracle praise time. You ready? Are you ready? Do this as the last praise before Jesus returns. Do it as waiting for the master to take the ones who are praising him home. This is your choice. This is your chance for a change of story. Hallelujah. Would you receive the garment of praise right now where you are? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We are not praising him for the fun of praises. We are praising him to provoke his blessings. Are you hearing? Then God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and not the ends of the earth shall fear Him. Are you ready for that? Now let's go, choir. We will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our God. Let His banner be raised and His glory be seen. We will celebrate our God.
Has started happening. Some people call jobless will get their miracle job today. Somebody has no job now, it will resume on Monday. Our strange God. It's beginning a strange art in everyone's life from this morning. Let me say this to the winner's family worldwide. You have done God proud. In your dedication, in your stewardship, you shall remain distinguished wherever you are found. He that honors me, I will honor. You have honored God with your commitment, with your sense of duty. Beginning from now, start to swim in divine honor. All our sons and daughters, who are out in their various ministries around the world. You have done God proud by keeping pace with the faith that you have been taught. Be blessed in all you are doing. Everyone that is named with this house is declared blessed this morning. He that keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruits thereof. Whatever makes this place glorious follows you home this morning. <laughs> so a man that waits on his master shall be honored. You have waited on your master in the flesh standing before you. You have obeyed his instructions to the letters. From time to time, you have responded with a sense of urgency to every commandment. Therefore, be honored in all your ways. <laughs> to all that minister along with me in this great commission, who have stood faithful over the years, be blessed of the Lord. I call every family in this great commission, bless this morning. I call your children, bless this morning. I call your grandchildren, bless this morning. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. May the prophetic blessings of the Liberation Night 2008 answer practically in your life. Your children's children shall never beg bread. It shall be well with your going out. It shall be well with your coming in. The Lord shall cause His face to shine upon you. He shall bless all the works of your hand. The wind cannot quench the fire inside the rock. No wind shall quench the glory of God in your life. No one 
I shall have any opportunity to pity you again. I release you as an envy to your world. In the name of Jesus. Wherever crisis exists in any family, I declare peace be still. Every broken home, I decree supernatural restoration now. In the name of Jesus. To all students present here, God gave wisdom to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they were ten times better than their colleagues. Be blessed with intelligence. Receive the hand of God upon your head. Be filled with the spirit of wisdom. All contractors that lack the flow of jobs, I decree a new dawn as you depart from here today. All businessmen and women who have not been selling, the change you have long waited for has finally come. This new week is marking the beginning of weeks for you. Whatever job you are involved in, I declare your hand prosperous. So shall it be. Between this liberation night and the one for 2009, there shall be no evil report in your family. Everyone under the sound of my voice today, death has lost its power over your life. You are going to be there 2009 liberation night. You shall be there in your multiplied status. In the name of Jesus. You have made ministry easy for me. No one shall make life difficult for you. You have stood where you are required to stand. In your various endeavors, everyone will stand where they are required to stand. You have answered when I call. When you call, they will also answer you. You have been a blessing to this commission because of the blessing of God on your life. All men around you shall be a blessing to you. Everyone called barren. You are bringing your children this coming liberation night. Everyone called impotent. You are released now in the name of Jesus. If you don't know the import of that testimony, there was a man who has lost his manhood and God visited him. The same God who visited him will visit someone else here now. You are blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Your generation after you is declared blessed. Because you have chosen to obey God the blessing of God shall never cease to flow in your life. Go in peace. For the last 27 years, I have been celebrating. The next 27 years in your life, go and continue to celebrate. never had a need to beg the last 27 years. You shall not beg nor your children's children all their days in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the angel of the Lord that has stood on guard around me and has not allowed the devil to strike at me and to destroy my life. That same angel shall stand by you.
No cry in your family. You shall not bury your children. No one shall die in your family until they fulfill their days. In this commission, no one is buried until they fulfill their days. Seventy years is the minimum. No one is permitted to go before seventy anymore. God said, 120 are the years, the days of your years. I decree everyone here to enjoy the seal of longevity on their lives in the name of Jesus. You are blessed of the Lord. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. My heart is full of blessings. And I know that I know that I know that everyone in this commission has changed level this morning. Join your hands, everyone, wherever you are. Join your hands together. Amen. Praise God. Know that next Sunday, tomorrow, is our Thanksgiving service. And it's going to specially feature wild praise. Wild praise. W-I-L-D. Wild praise. Wild. Let's get wild for God. So bring your palm fronts. Don't destroy the one here on campus. Bring them when you are coming. And your guns are to be thrown up to celebrate Jesus. We just want to get wild for him. He is a good God. There is nothing. I saw some fellows lying down here, and, you know, just swimming on the, on the ground because of how much they have seen God in their life. We are coming to show God how much is worth to us on Sunday. As we share this goodness, you know, we have joined our hands. The grace that operates in anyone's life here flows to the other. So it's a network of wonders. We carry different orders of grace in different areas. Whichever one you lack, that somebody else carries, flows to you now. And the multiple grace of God on this ground, with your hands joined, is flowing into everybody. Now let's together share the goodness of the Lord. Lift up those joined hands. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. We believe you've been blessed by these power-packed messages. You can fellowship with us on our weekly services, Sunday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., Wednesday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Faith Tabernacle, Kilometer 10, Idiroko Road, Ota. Or visit our website at www www.davidoyedepoministries.org or email info at davidoyedepoministries.org For counseling and prayers, call 0177 or 0177